Nothing is forever. That's the rule. Everything ends. And so our story begins. the fun. You do? Absolutely. A little swash, a bit of buckle, you'll love it more than bread. I wished I could fly. Me too. So did I. Out the window and over the trees. High as a cloud and lighter than air. Then loop the loop and up to the stars. I dreamed about flying all the time. What? Girls dream. Up to the stars. I like that. Me too. Eventually, of course, we dream other dreams. We change. We grow up. It always happens. Nothing is forever. That's the rule. Everything ends. And so our story begins. Oh, oh, nice. That's nice. <laughs> Supposing all these planks and ropes are now the British Empire. And we are lords. And captains. Mothers. Orphans. Sailors. Pirates. Tropical kings. And use your thoughts to hoist the sails and deck the ships awaiting us this early gray and misty dawn in 1885. A crucial year in the reign of Her Majesty Queen Victoria. God God where's her. the captain, Lieutenant? I'm no Lieutenant. I told a lie. Unthinkable! British never lie! Well, pirates do, don't we, boys? <laughs> I demand to see Captain Scott! Oh, why didn't you say so? Presto Scotto! <laughs> what? Robin, how dare you, sir? Release this man! Yeah. I'll take the key to that treasure trunk of yours! You'll have to kill me first! Oh, uh, we were gonna kill you second, but... I'm flexible. <laughs> Hoopa. Got it. A pirate with scads of panache wants the key to the trunk with the cash. Now here's some advice. Though I seem to be nice, I'll cut you. Slit you up one side and down the other so you can watch your own stomach flop around on the deck. <laughs> I say, Smee, you did explain to my lord that I'm a bloodthirsty outlaw. Aye, Captain, but he still wouldn't give up the key. Well, we haven't got all night, Smee. People have paid for nannies and parking. Stand aside. <laughs> I'll have to do it myself, or I'm not. Or I'm not. What am I? Lexus! Can you keep a secret? I can. We can. <laughs> Those little bits a star stuff. The trunk in Slank's cabin is full of it. There's some in here, too, in case I'm ever in trouble. Star stuff? Let me see. No! It changes people if they touch it. How? Different ways, depending on what they want to be. So, if somebody gets their hands on the star stuff and... And they're evil or greedy like Genghis Khan or hungry for world domination like Caesar or Napoleon or, you know, Ayn Rand. <laughs> Who's that? Ugh, didn't you learn anything in that orphanage? Was kind of busy trying not to die. Oh. But if star stuff's so dangerous, why are you after it? I'm a star catcher. We have special powers that we use in secret to keep star stuff away from tyrants who try to rule the world. You mean like Queen Victoria? God save her. And no, that's different. She doesn't need star stuff to rule the world. She's British. The stash is on everyone's lips. <laughs> Why, is that the Queen's trunk you're sitting on? Yeah, the Queen's trunk, totally. Molly Astor told me to protect it. <gasps> From who? Pirates like you. But we have all the fun. You do? Absolutely. A little swash, a bit of buckle, you'll love it more than bread. 
Now give us the trunk and join the party. Um, appellation, please. Your name, bub. No name, orphan. You're more at sea than Columbus, boy. If you were a pirate, you'd have a proper name. You could do that. Well, I'm the boss, ain't I? How about Bluebeard Bob? Eh. Long John Leary. Oh, we hung a bloke from the yard on a week ago Wednesday. Pirate Pete, that's available. Pirate Pete? Yeah, good solid name is Peter, like a rock. That's what you'd be, boy, my rock. Now, give me the trunk. Oh, Peter, yeah, I like that. Evocative as a Madeleine in a Proust novel. Now, give me the trunk. Spin on, against the current. Spin on, against the sea. So the tide may turn against us. Trunks me! Get me to that island! Get to the island, Peter! Don't let that trunk out of your sight! Swim on against the current! Swim on against the sea! Though the tide may turn against you, those too strong the tide may be. And though your arms be led, slicing through the spray of flame, What's it mean? It's Norse code. He's using Norse code, everyone. <laughs> I'm sorry. I think you mean Morse code. Not Morse code. Norse code from Norway, the ancient Viking signaling system. That's ridiculous. <laughs> What's he saying? Unless I miss my guess, he's saying Marlebelle Furnace in the Furnace. Then he says, Un getsy molly doos and plinkin'. That's first take molly to the trunk. Cool me hell or higher water. That's remember the mission. Very convenient. Un getsy plinkin' to the plonkin'. That's take the trunk down to the beach. Marley Bella Ferner, father will be there with the longboat. Sina Heine Ferner will be Heine Ferner, um, safe if we can just get past the pirates and make it to the beach. Then Turin in der Flankenesse, Neck and Breska Tudor, Nebe Nebe Nesse, Nebe Nanka Binka Rubelenka, Sinkanook and Keep the Moja Kooka Nanka Danka Papa, Love Daddy. I don't like its bollocks to its. Do we detect a pattern here? <laughs> Help me, the linguists among you, what's the turn of phrase? Empty, Captain, the trunk is empty! So it is. <laughs> Clean as the sheets in a convent. <laughs> <laughs>